everyone on Facebook or YouTube or however you found me. This is another Corona Chat and today uh, I want to talk about young children uh, and their risk of getting COVID. Uh, I've had some questions about whether or not schools should reopen and whether or not uh, parents should send their kids back to daycare. Um, so let's get into it. So there's two different things that I'm going to talk about to help you decide whether or not you should send your kids back to daycare. The first is the total number of kids who are being uh, diagnosed with COVID in Manitoba as part of our outbreak. And the second is the risk of becoming a, a case if you've been in contact with somebody who has COVID. So let's start with the Manitoba data. In Manitoba, we've had 283 cases. Only 15 of those are people under the age of 18. That's only 5%. Um, so that's reassuring that only 5%, that means 95% of our cases are in adults. And if we look at people under the age of 10, it drops down to less than 2%. So 98% of the cases in Manitoba are over the age of 10. So that's good. That tells us that um, kids either aren't getting the infection or they're not getting very sick, so they're not presenting to be tested. They're not ending up in the hospital. So that's reassuring to start with. But on top of that, there's a study out of Australia that looked at how likely kids were of becoming a case, so of getting the infection, after being in contact with someone else who has the infection. So the number from Manitoba, let's start with that. Here in Manitoba, if you are in close contact with a case, you have about a 10% chance of becoming infected yourself. So close contact means either you live with them uh, or you've been within two meters of them for 10 minutes or more. And uh, so, like I said, if you experience that with someone who is infected, about 10% of those people will go on to be diagnosed as a COVID infection. There's probably a little bit more than that and people who just didn't have any symptoms and didn't get tested, but 10% of people have enough symptoms that we test them and find out, yes, in fact, they got the infection. Um, so in Australia, they looked at 18 cases uh, that occurred in schools. Nine of those cases were teachers, nine of those cases were students. And they then counted all of the other kids that those 18 people were in contact with, in close contact with, and found 900 people that were in close contact with those 18 cases. So if we're looking at the typical 10%, we would have expected 90 other cases to have developed because of those exposures. So I'm saying of the 900 people who are in close contact with those 18 positive cases, 90 of them should have gone on to be symptomatic, be tested and diagnosed as a case. What they actually found were two. So that's really important. That shows that amongst young children, very few of them went on to develop infection after being exposed to infection, or at the very least, very few of them had enough symptoms that they got tested. It is possible that a larger number of those students um, had the infection but didn't get sick, um, but that's still really reassuring that the kids were at really low risk. So if you're wondering about whether or not we should open schools, you're wondering about whether or not to send your kids to daycare, the risk is not zero. And I can't promise that your kid won't be the one who gets sick or very sick or ends up in the hospital or the ICU. You know, those cases do still happen. There have been children who have died from COVID. But what I will say is the risk is quite low compared to adults. Uh, it's less likely that they'll get the infection and it's less likely that if they get it that they're going to get really sick. So parents, just weigh out the risks and benefits. You know, daycare can be a really important part of social development and certainly an important part of you being able to go and do the things you need to do during the day to manage your family. And so weighing out those risks and benefits, every family is going to have to do separately. For, should, for schools, sending your kids back to elementary school is probably the same risk uh, as what we're talking about for daycare. For high school, risks get a little higher. As kids get older, uh, the risk goes up substantially. And then there's a big jump once you get into your 20s as far as how many people are getting the infection. So that teenage year is a bit uh, less clear. But elementary school and daycare, um, it's an individual decision, but those are the numbers to help inform that for you.